past few months have been filled with uncertainty and anxiety for the entire world, but especially for America. While this is an emerging feeling in all people, these feelings are not new for marginalized groups. So I, being a person who can protect myself, must help others who are vulnerable. Assumption High School is driven by compassion, and because of the influence of classes I've taken and clubs I've been involved with, I've been motivated to be a part of the positive change in my world. I carry items like non-perishable food, clothing, and hygiene products that I can distribute when I pass someone in need. Knowing that I am making a difference in others' lives brings me satisfaction and hope for their futures. Health crises are especially dangerous for those who are homeless or those who do not have accessible health care. With the Black Lives Matter movement being prominent now, it is essential to recognize that too many people of color find themselves in this situation. Beyond the COVID-19 crisis, these people are being slaughtered by corrupt police and by the judicial system itself. I can't sit idly by while injustice is wreaking havoc across this country. I have been contributing to the social and legislative change we need to help protect these people and invest in their communities by signing petitions, calling, emailing, and writing my legislators. I also use social media platforms to educate and advocate for these communities. I have even gathered a group of my friends and we've spent days together that have been dedicated to advocating. I learned that change doesn't come with silent allies. Lastly, I have not forgotten that our planet is continuing to suffer. When quarantine first started, we saw how Mother Nature corrected itself after just a few weeks of less pollution. However, with states opening, that clarity was short-lived and we are seeing how our carbon footprint truly matters. There are many ways we can help our Earth, but some I do frequently are picking up trash safely and in a sanitary way. I use reusable bags, gloves, and trash grabbers. Again, I have gathered groups of people to do this with me. I sign petitions and contact my representatives for this as well. I also participate in Fridays for Future, a campaign of strikes each Friday started by Greta Thunberg. I have recently become involved in Kentucky Youth Climate Strike, who I will soon become a school ambassador for, acting as a recruiter for KYYCS. I also try to cut down waste and pollution at home by having a clothesline and a compost bin. We recycle, I carpool as much as possible, and I am a caregiver to an abundance of plants and succulents. In the end, every social justice issue I have mentioned comes down to being driven. I have had to do research to educate myself on the issues themselves, but also on my privilege and the ins and outs of the world. It is nurturing to me to spend time doing something that I enjoy and that makes a difference for others. I believe change is possible and that justice is coming, one advocate at a time.